My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterpropa.com to read the amazing writing of Caitlin Johnston, a phenomenal journalist, and Zach Haller, a great, great writer and journalist. Go to counterpropa.com. Caitlin Johnston is one of the great writers in politics today. I'm very honored she's published in counterpropa.com. And to support this YouTube channel, go to my Patreon link below. This is Chuck Grassley, and he's calling out Chuck Schumer. The Democratic Party, in addition to cheating progressives and candidates who are against neocon philosophy, like Tulsi Gabbard, Nina Turner, Bernie Sanders, in addition to doing everything possible to undermine and undercut and harm its progressive or anti-war voices, they lie all the time. And they try to pull everybody down to their level. So Hillary Clinton not only had a true, real criminal investigation, not a matter like Loretta Lynch tried to say. She might have told Bill Clinton that it was a matter on the plane in Phoenix. They weren't talking about golf Brexit and grandchildren. And then that led to James Comey suddenly saying, well, we couldn't find intent, although she committed all these crimes. In addition to all of that, the Democratic Party is trying to say, well, look, look at Trump, Russia. It's just like Hillary Clinton. See, we're all even. It's just the same craziness. Everybody's under investigation. Wrong. Donald Trump, President Trump is actually not under investigation. Sorry, he's not. He is not the target of an FBI criminal probe. Here's Chuck Grassley calling out Chuck Schumer for just lying to the public, even though Dianne Feinstein, Jay Johnson, um, there's so many. Dianne Feinstein, Jay, jo Jay Johnson, Homeland Security Chief, James Clapper, Director of National, former Director of National Intelligence, Maxine Waters, Adam Schiff, James Comey, all six Democrats, and I will put James Comey, I'll add him as a Democrat. All six, when asked, is there, are there, is there direct evidence that the NSA or anyone has of Trump working with Russia or collusion or anyone in his campaign, they say no, there's no direct evidence. But here's Chuck Grassley. Finally came out. The FBI was not investigating President Trump in the Russia probe. So the media was wrong. So the Democrats were wrong. So the wild speculation and conspiracy theories ended up harming our country. They played right into Russia's hands. And how did we all learn about this truth? In President Trump's letter removing Mr. Comey from office, at first, most didn't believe it. The media scoffed when they wrote what the president said in that letter. They insisted that Mr. Comey would never tell the president he was not under investigation. Well, we learned earlier this month from Mr. Comey himself that he had done exactly that. Yep. So James Comey stated several times to Trump he was not under investigation. Trump is not under, under investigation, number one, because there's no direct evidence. Just ask the six people that I mentioned. Number two, nobody can name a crime. So Hillary Clinton removed special access program and top secret information from one, from secure government locations onto an unencrypted server. Crime under the Espionage Act. Top secret information can't be anywhere other than U.S. government networks, especially if you are a government official hiding from Freedom of Information Act laws. You're not a whistleblower. You're not protected under laws uh, that protect publishers or journalists or whistle whistleblowers. So it's very different. When WikiLeaks or Julian Assange publishes material that is not only newsworthy, but exposes corruption, that everybody on the planet, uh, from Le Monde to the New York Times, to the Washington Post, to the Guardian, everywhere, every publication republishes and talks about it. That's a First Amendment constitutional issue, freedom of the press. What Hillary Clinton did was a crime. Not only is Trump not under investigation, the whole Russia, investig Russia probe, Trump Russia, is the, a giant diversionary tactic that is bringing us closer to a, a, a potential catastrophe with Russia. Give me your thoughts below. 
Chuck Grassley just called out Chuck Schumer as a liar. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.